A Pope Francis issued an apostolic letter today to formally institute a lay ministry of catechists. In the letter, the Holy Father states, quote, recognition should be given to those laymen and women who feel called by virtue of their baptism to cooperate in the work of catechesis. This presence is all the more urgently needed today. Joining us now to explain more about the ministry is Bishop Franz Peter Tibarts Van Els, Delegate for Catechesis of the Pontifical Council for Promoting the New Evangelization. Your Excellency, welcome back. Wonderful to be with you. Uh, tell us, what is the role of the catechist or those teaching the faith in the church, and why do you think it will help the church? Well, this uh, new apostolic letter is somehow a fruit of the new directory for catechesis we presented last year. When we were working on it, we realized more and more that it is uh, at the sign of the time that the ministry of catechists should be elevated and estimated some more. And we are very grateful that the Holy Father took over this inspiration and that he has written this apostolic letter. By the theological reason of uh, the baptism and the confirmation, those who have received gifts and charisms from God uh, should be able and should be ready to present these gifts to the church and to be witnesses of the faith in uh, situations under conditions of daily life. And therefore, it's so important that there are not only parents and grandparents being a catechist for the children, but also a real ministry of catechists like we have the lecturer and other ministries in the church. Uh, with this new initiative, uh, do you know exactly what the training will be like and what sorts of criteria will the teachers have to meet? Well, uh, actually, it's derived from what St. Paul is saying in his letter to the Corinthians, that there are uh, given many charisms to the church and what is being received by one isn't received by another. Or like another prayer of the church is expressing it, it says, Oh God, you have given us so many gifts. None you have given nothing and none you have given all. Everybody will receive special charisms and these should be given to the church. And therefore, it is so important when you are asking for the criteria to be able to know uh, about scriptures, to be uh, uh, educated in, in scripture-based catechesis, uh, to be in a, a good shape psychologically, in a good and uh, mature condition, and also to uh, know the teaching of the church. Uh, many churches in the United States have appointed catechists to help prepare people for the sacraments. Does this apostolic letter change what parishes have already been doing? Well, uh, it uh, is meant to be a support for the parishes, but even more for dioceses, because uh, some parishes have special needs that other parishes won't have. And therefore, the bigger context of a diocese may be the frame in which it is much more possible to do it, just to, to realize the different gifts and to accompany those who have these gifts and to mature them in their vocation to realize it and to be ready to give it. Well, Your Excellency, thank you so much for your time today. We really appreciate it. Bishop Franz Peter Tibarts van Els, Delegate for Catechesis of the Pontifical Council for Promoting the New Evangelization. Thank you again. You're welcome. Thank you very much.